welcome in this vlog which is going to be a bit of an update of all what's going on in the kingdom. I didn't have a lot of videos going on because there's just too much work right now so I really do my best. I will have uh, more coming in October and November this I can promise you that. But yes I'm going to share a bit what I've been working on which is mainly the Halloween workshop which is my new workshop coming this fall. Uh, which is going to arrive the second week of October. So if you have been, um, if you are subscribed to my workshop newsletter, you already know a bit more about it, about all the workshop updates for this fall and December, all that. Right now I'm filming and editing uh, the Halloween workshop. I'm in the pumpkin bath right now. I finished the butterflies and the moth. And I'm super, super excited about that. It's the first time I will do actually a Halloween decor because we don't celebrate Halloween at all in France. Nobody does anything. Maybe in school they try to do something, but we really don't do anything. So um, it's the first time I'm doing something and I'm so excited. I will have a Halloween video series coming. You will see my Halloween tour. Well, anything Halloween related uh, very soon. Also in September, something funny which happened, uh, a lady, Carol, who came from Florida, who is an apprentice magician and also a client, she came, she was visiting France and she came here um, to visit me. So it was super, super cool. We had a great day together. We went to the old bookshop, she bought tons of books. It was super, super nice um, to see her. So who knows, if you are traveling in France from time to time, or maybe in the future, just let me know. The other thing I'm working on right now, it's a secret project. I'm going to share it at the beginning of November. Uh, there is extremely strict deadlines, all that. Um, I'm going to share it really once it's all finished. I was not supposed to work on that actually, but it's a super, super beautiful project. Really, really magical. On the scale of magical thing from zero to 10, it's at 10. It's really that that magical. So I will film what I'm working on, what I'm doing for, for this project, but I'm going to edit and share all that in videos um, in November because first I have really not a lot of time to do it. It's super, super tight and I think sometimes to work really and to find good ideas, all that, uh, you need to focus on to, to be silent. I, I know we live in this crazy social media world where it, is, where it is expected that you should post things every day, which you know, if you follow me, you know I don't anyway. But sometimes I find this pressure of, of this new world we are living now, not working really well for me with uh, long-term projects or mid-term projects which need really a lot of focus and work. This is for me just the opposite actually, because for this project uh, I really, really need to do a fireworks of ideas. It has to be that, that big. So I will share that. I will have to go to Paris. So I will share a bit more about all this adventure in November. Um, it's going to be beyond what you can imagine. Really. It's going to be super, super, super magical. But for now, it's not really time to share more about it. You will know more once it's uh, ready and there will be probably official things coming about that. So uh, I will share all about it in November. It's not included in the workshop, but this is um, something I'm working on for my uh, Halloween decor. It's, um, it's going to be a sort of copy of, uh, of a decor of Ma uh, Marie Antoinette's room. I think it went, it's one, was one of her cabinet in the Chateau de Fontainebleau. And it's something you are supposed to have. It's a trumeau. You're supposed to have that above your mirror. So I had an empty trumeau right now and I thought it was time to fill it. So I did that just to have a sort of creepy um, disappearing decor. So you're going to see it finished in my Halloween too. I just put here a few, just few colors, few things, trying to copy the decor, but adding some creepy details. So you will see that finish in the Halloween, not probably in the Halloween workshop, but for sure in the Halloween tour.
this morning I need to clean my mess. This is the state of my studio this morning. I had worked on the Halloween workshop, shipped some parcels, so they are really mess everywhere, everywhere, and I can't work in this uh, state. So I really need to make a good clean just before doing anything else. There are things related to the workshop, things I need to ship my parcel, things for the secret project I'm going to uh, share more in the future, but there is an upcoming secret project going on. And yes, just a lot of lot of mess. Even Clochette is not happy in this mess. So. is now all tidy and clean and the cat is sleeping. I'm ready to start to film my um, workshop. I'm going to film a part with the pumpkins and just the very last, uh, very 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 last part of the butterflies. That's the program today. from my walk at the park so I, I grabbed a lot of these things I really have a lot of those I'm probably going to use them for my fireplace I think I have a bit of those not so many I thought I would they would look bigger but I would they are, are in a vase they look really really thin so I don't know I put them here but I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them I have many of this one i really like this color this beautiful yellow i was happy the the, the branches are not very curvy and all that but the, the color is really really pretty so i'm happy with that and i grabbed this one which are a bit sad because a lot of trees had these black stains on their leaves and i suppose it's a really not nice sickness they had so 
I grabbed a, a bit of them. I thought they really looked like witches' leaves. Uh, just the same. Don't know where they are going to end up, but picked a few of them, and I found a big branch of bird tree, as you can see. So it's cool because I already had a very long branch of a curvy style uh, that I found a few months, I think last year, um, maybe uh, last Halloween, last October, I'm not really sure, but I found it and I kept it with a few others and I thought they needed something else. So I don't know at all what I'm going to do with all these. I'm probably going to mix things together. Um, I have really a lot of uh, ideas with that, so we will see. I needed sort of um, places where I could put all my butterflies and moth from the Halloween workshop. I also have other things which I, I think branches and this sort of things you could always do something with them. So I was happy to find and I really like all my yellowish color. The white is the birch tree. Um, wood is always so pretty so really happy about them. The last things I found are these hairy thing. It's pretty wet. I don't know what it is. It came with a very thorny branches so I I don't know really. It's, I suppose it's sort of fruit that these uh, sort of small trees do. So I, I have three of them. I really don't know how they're going to evolve. If they're going to dry like that it would be really cool if they could stay like that. I'm not sure. I found three of them so we will see what we do with that. Thank you very much for watching this update of what's happening in the kingdom. So the Halloween workshop will arrive the second week of October. I don't know which day yet because I'm still working on it, but you will see that soon. And um, my Halloween series on YouTube, you will see that also pretty much at the same time. For me, mid-October, uh, I will have a Halloween tour and probably two other videos in this series. I'm super excited about that. I will go back to the park just to find more greeneries and things to add to the ones you already saw I picked up um, a few days ago. It's going to be super pretty. I'm super happy about that. I'm not doing anything for my balconies and my windows because simply it's still pretty warm here. Actually my flowers are all still blooming, not as pretty as in summer but pretty nice so I just don't think it would work really well to have some pumpkins among my geranium, my pink geranium. So I will let them finish their, their blooming uh, peacefully. I'm not going to bother them. Um, I'm going to have anyway my Christmas craziness outside for Christmas season. So for now I don't do anything because the truth is nobody does anything anyway. So it would appear a bit strange. But inside it's going to be crazy. I also wanted to say uh, the complimentary video I'm going to do uh, at my friend's house to complement the inside the wardrobe I did uh, previously before this one. I'm going to do that in November because after all the things happening right now it's just too much and we will do, the, do this really peacefully in her home. So you are going to see this one but just a little later this fall because there is just too much right now. So you will have another nice video uh, coming but a little later this fall. So the Halloween series is coming soon, my Halloween workshop is coming the second week of October, there are a lot of other things and all the updates on the secret project will arrive um, at the end of October, beginning of November. Thank you for your support, your kindness, your sweet messages. You can subscribe if you don't want to miss all what's coming and you can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Thank you very much and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.